Okay, in this video we'll look at continuous movement. So I press a key and I don't have to hold on to it um, and it'll just continue moving. Um, so I'm just going to take this uh, step movement program that I had before, right? This is my, my step movement. And maybe, uh, maybe what I'll do is just uh, comment this out. I'll even cut it maybe and put it somewhere else. And just keep it as this code, but just keep it down here. All right. So I still want to have an event listener. And this time, though, I'm going to need an extra variable, an extra property, x, y, width, and height. I'm going to need a speed property, an x speed, which will set initially to zero, and a y speed, which will also set to zero. Okay. And then in my draw function that loops over and over again, I'm going to um, move player by x speed and y speed, right? So that just is player dot x plus equals player dot x speed and player dot y, right? Change the x position by x speed, change the y position by y speed, and that should make the player continuously move because the draw function loops over and over again. It'll change, it'll change, it'll change, and continuously move. Of course, right now, the y speed is zero and the x speed is zero. If I made the x speed one and the y speed negative one, you would see it move to the right and move up. Okay, and it's continually doing that. I'm not pressing anything. It's because of a loop. Okay, so now, in order to control um, this with keys, I can actually just control the value of x speed and y speed, right? If x speed is negative one, it'll move left. If y speed was positive one, it would move down. So we'll initialize this to zero again, and then I will just set the x and y speed on key events. So again, if events.code equals arrow right, I just want to go player dot x speed is assigned positive one, right? So now I press the right arrow key and I'm not holding the key down. It's just, it, the speed is positive one now, so it's gonna keep moving to the right. All right, and then we can do our else if event.code equals arrow left, player.x speed will become negative one. Oops, negative one to move left. Else if events.code equals arrow up type, oops, up, there we go, player.y speed, um, up would be negative one, and else if, I should have copied and pasted my code from before, um, arrow down, we will go player.y speed is assigned positive one. So I can now move up, left, down, right, oh, this isn't actually what I expected, this is interesting. I'm moving diagonally because when I press a value, right, when I press up or down, it actually, um, the x value stays the same. So if we wanted, if this could be something that you want, but if we wanted to keep it going north, south, east, west, what we would need to do is also set the y speed to zero, right? It says, hey, move to the right, don't move vertically. Same here, we'll control C, control V to copy and paste that. And here we'll go player.x speed is assigned zero. So it only sets the Y speed and we'll copy and paste that as well. And now the movement should be, there we go. It's straight up, straight down. Okay. And now um, one thing, that I wanted to show you was the power of variables um, is right now we're using this this one here which is pretty slow if I wanted it to go faster I'd actually have to change the number here to five and this number to five and this number to five and this number to five right I got to change it in, in four different places in order to change the speed what I could do instead is I could have just a generic speed variable and then when I want to set my x speed, I could set it to player.speed. 
and here I could set it to negative player dot speed, negative player dot speed, and positive player dot speed. Right, so now it should still work the same way, but now if I want to change the speed of this player, I only have to do it in one location. I can make it positive one, and now the speed will be positive one. And you could do this in a, in a program or in a game where, hey, maybe you start slow and you, you know, collect a power up, which increases your speed so you can move faster. Now all you would have to do is, is modify this one variable speed. And that's what it will be set whenever you press your arrow keys. Okay, so that's continuous movement. Where'd I go? That's continuous movement. Going just north, south, east, west. Okay, that's it for this video. Hopefully that made sense. Um, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.